So after popular request, I'm going to be taking a look today at the Netrunner rolling release. Now if you haven't watched the last video that I did, which was Linux Mint versus Netrunner OS, then definitely go and check that out. There'll be links in the description as well as an annotation on the screen, because that'll give you a very good idea of what Netrunner OS is about and what it tries to achieve. Basically, it tries to achieve a very user-friendly KDE desktop. Now they started with a Kubuntu base. They took an Ubuntu base and kind of tweaked it up a bit to make it a bit more user-friendly. They added in applications, they added in useful little tools to help connect the user to the power of what KDE can bring. Now, what they've done with the Netrunner rolling release is they've taken that same idea and transferred it to a Manjaro slash Arch base. Now Manjaro and Arch Linux have been around for quite some time, Manjaro of course being a more user-friendly version of Arch. Now since Manjaro has come around, there's been plenty of people using that distribution because they like the power of Arch, but not necessarily all the complexity that goes along with it. Now what Netrunner tries to do is take the simplified Manjaro base and take it and turn it into a very user-friendly KDE experience for the slightly more experienced Linux user. So think of this as Netrunner OS for the slightly more advanced. Mainly because inherent problems with rolling releases are that stuff will break every now and again, and you have to be able to fix that stuff when it does. So with all that said, let's get down to the duck's guts of what this distribution actually is and what it does. So first of all, we've got the Linux kernel 3.10.33 powering this distribution by default as per the snapshot that was released back in April. Now, of course, it is a rolling release, so you can update the distribution and you can thus update the kernel as well. The Manjaro team that have the package base for this distribution, they have plenty of kernels there available that you can update too. So it goes without saying that Netrunner OS is going to provide you with the most stable up-to-date software that's available. Most of the package management that you're going to be getting done is through Octopi, the graphical user interface for the Pac-Man package manager. Now Octopi is of course not the most user friendly software manager out there and that's why that they encourage more advanced Linux users to use Netrunner rolling. But I would put it on par with Synaptic. If you can manage Synaptic package manager then you'll be fine here. Simple search and you can generally find the application you're looking for. You can also manage your updates which you can see I have a bucket load of and then you've also got groups down the side here that might help you to find uh, applications that might be missing in a particular software group. Now there's a couple of areas of where this distribution excels. First of all, I found that the performance of Netrunner rolling is pretty snappy. They've toned down a lot of KDE's bulk and uh, they've made it quite snappy in the way that it manages the windows, the way that it minimizes, maximizes, all the animations are sped up and also they're a lot more toned back, they're not as in your face as what they are in most KDE distros. So you barely notice the bulk of KDE at all, but having said that, you are still running with quite a bit of system resources being used. You can see here that I'm already using 1.7 gig of RAM, and a lot of that would be owing to the screencasting that I'm doing at the same time. Without FFmpeg running, which is taking care of the screencasting, then we'd be using about 500 meg less, which would put us at a little over a gig. So this still is quite a heavy distribution, but if you've got plenty of resources to throw at it, then it definitely flies pretty quickly. Apart from the differences in the core, they really strive to make this distribution as similar to their normal standard release as they possibly can. And I reckon they've succeeded. You can hardly tell that you're using a different distribution if it weren't for the very obvious wallpaper that they've chosen. Give it a different wallpaper, and you could pretty much be fooled into thinking that you are using the standard Netrunner release. So everything that I said about Netrunner in the previous video I can say here, thus I won't repeat myself. But they've got a great selection of applications out of the box covering all the user's needs from multimedia to internet to graphics, etc. And their built-in tools for managing online accounts such as your Google account and your Facebook account are welcome touches here. Now why would you choose to run Netrunner OS rolling as opposed to the standard release? Well basically it all boils down to that up-to-date software. As it inherits most of its package base from Manjaro, you're going to be taken care of in terms of up-to-date software that has been tested, so it's not entirely bleeding edge, but you are definitely going to be more up-to-date, especially moving forward, than what you will be on a long-term support release of Ubuntu. Now right now there isn't too big of a difference between the software that Netrunner Rolling has installed and the software that this standard Netrunner 14 edition has. But give it a year or so and there will be a big difference. So if you like the idea of Netrunner in a tweaked out KDE distribution that has been really optimized for the standard desktop user, 
including plenty of good applications, tools, and tweaks. But you also like the idea of being able to manage your own updates, be able to manage up-to-date software, and you're a little more comfortable with your way around the Linux desktop, then I definitely recommend you give Netrunner Rolling a try. It hasn't really been around long enough for me to know for sure whether this distribution is going to be a solid rolling release in the future, but it's definitely a welcome addition to the ever-increasing rolling release genre. Now, if you're curious about rolling releases in general, I have another video that is the top three rolling release distros, and that'll give you a good idea of some of the competition that's out there. And there will be a mention of that uh, at the end of the video after the outro. You can see that Netrunner takes a bit of time to let you know some of the known issues and some of the things that you might have to deal with from the readme icon on the desktop here. And it also gives you a very quick introduction to how to manage Pac-Man on the command line if you're not at all familiar with how Arch functions. But with all that said, it's basically identical to the Kubuntu-based version. So if you like what you saw in the Netrunner OS 14, then you're definitely gonna like this one. I don't recommend it for new users, but for those who have a little experience up their belt and those who like their KDE experience, then I think you're gonna find a decent home here with Netrunner rolling. That'll be all from me. Let me know what you think about this distribution in the comments below. And as always, feel free to leave comments, suggestions, or feedback in the comments section below. Alternatively, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Thank you all for watching, and I shall catch you again next time. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.